Hello and welcome to the next video on Flowgrithm. I was recently asked through YouTube if it was possible to, uh, to do a, a rand between type function um, in Flowgrithm in the same way as you could with Python where you get a, uh, a lower and an upper value and it pick a random between those two. Unfortunately in Flowgrithm it appears that the, the random function always starts at zero and only goes up to the, to the limit. There's no upper and lower, you can't change it. So I was thinking about this and I thought, well, you, you could just do a, you could write it yourself. It's fairly, it seems fairly straightforward. So this is what I've done. I've created two variables here, upper and lower. And in this particular case, as per the question that I was asked, I've set the upper limit to 80 and the lower limit to 20. So I want a random number between 20 and 80. And I've declared a variable here called my num. I look at the function in a sec, but my long calls a function, sends the lower and the upper, so it sends it the two values, and then outputs the random number. So when the function call is made, I've created my own random between function, it takes in the two numbers, and then it does a random number on the highest number, so it'll be between zero and 80. If the number it picks um, is, is less than the lower number, less than 20 in this case, then it'll just re-pick and it'll do it again. And it'll keep doing that again, picking up um, obviously below the highest number until it finds one that's above the lowest number and then it returns that number. That will go back into the main function and it's outputted. So let's see if that works. So we're looking for a number between 20 and 80. So if you run it, we've got 75. And just keep running and you can see I'm getting random numbers between the two ranges that we wanted and all I have to do to change the range in this case I could make these an input but if I just change that and say right the highest number I want is 100 and the lowest number I can have is 50 so I've got a number between 50 and 100 and run that there we go the same idea so I hope that answers your question Flowgrithm doesn't support it directly like Python um, however you can do it yourself you can write a function Thank you very much for watching, there will be more uh, Flowgrithm videos coming shortly.